Hi everyone and welcome back to Chef Seats. Today we're going to be making a super easy and tasty homemade pizza dough. Now I like to look at a pizza dough as a blank canvas for an artist just before they make their masterpiece. Yes, the pizza masterpiece. And just like always, only thing we're going to need are a few simple ingredients. So let's get started. Now to start this recipe, what we need to do is activate our yeast. So what we have here is hot to lukewarm water and the only thing we need to do is add our yeast into it. Give it a good little mix and let it set for about 10 minutes. It doesn't have to get all bubbly and all foamy, but just make sure that it sets for a good 10 minutes so it starts activating and getting all alive. There we go. Now let's just let this set. Now after 10 minutes, what I like to do is add the rest of our ingredients. The salt, the sugar, and the olive oil. No particular order, just make sure they all get inside. Now after adding all these ingredients, let's just give it another whisk again. There we are. Making sure all these ingredients are mixed nice and evenly. Nice and easy peasy. Now that we have this, what I like to do is add this liquid into a larger mixing bowl. This is going to help us when we're making the dough. And at this point, what I like to do is add about half of our flour. So add about half the flour in and using a wooden paddle, what I like to do is start mixing it. So instead of adding all the flour at one time, do half and then the other half at a time. It can give you more control while mixing this and making sure that it's all nice and evenly distributed. There we go. Now that we got this coming together, let's just go ahead and grab the second half and just pop that all on in. Once again, using a wooden paddle just to help us mix it all up. I find a wooden paddle works a lot easier than using a whisk. It's not going to get stuck on the inside and you could scrape everything off with the wooden paddle really nice and evenly. There, see, just keep on mixing together. Now, this recipe right here is actually going to be able to make two pizzas. So if you want to cut it in half, you can cut it in half. Um, but you know what? If you want to just make a super large pizza, that's totally fine. I personally just like making this batch because when I make my pizzas, I usually like to make two at a time. Now just put a little bit of flour right on the bottom because now what we're going to end up doing is kneading this pizza dough together. I'm just trying to grab it right here, make it come together a little bit more, squeezing it all together. So I really enjoy making handmade pizza dough. You know, you get a really good feel for how you're making it. and it just feels more one in one, one in, in touch with the pizza. Now you can see I'm just mushing it all together, slowly kneading it, slowly kneading it. And there's going to be some parts of the flour, like the pizza is just on the side. It's not going to come together and you don't need to mix that all in. So just set that aside and just keep on kneading, keep kneading. This process should take about six, five to six minutes. There we are, and you see how it's all coming together? Now what I like to do is start forming a ball. So I grab it from the outside, fold it in, grab it from the outside, fold it in, and just start to create a nice little ball. See, just like that. Now we're having a mixing bowl. What we like to do is grab a little bit of olive oil, not too much, and make sure it's all mixed nice and evenly all around the sides. There we are. And what we're going to do is pop this dough in and flip it all around. There we are. Just give it a nice little coating. Not too much. Not too much. And now what we're going to do is put this towel on it. Let it set for about an hour, room temperature. And then what we're going to do is come back and see this wonderful surprise. Let's check this out. Whoa, look at that pizza dough. Now this pizza dough is perfect for using on a pizza stone in the oven. I just love it. That's how I always make my pizzas. Look at this. Check out how fluffy this is. <laughs> oh man. There we are. Well folks, I'm really excited to share with you my pizza dough recipe and I really, really, really excited to hear how it's all turned out for you. Of course, just like always, here's the ingredients listed. This is for a double batch recipe, which I said you could split in half and let me know how it all turns out. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe.